going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. If it sounds like I'm talking a little bit quieter than usual, I'm not sure if it's because I am or because I'm currently recording this in my closet. That's right, I am recording this in my closet. Uh, I just moved to a new apartment, so we are in a new recording location for this episode. And I didn't have room in my bedroom for my desk. <laughs> and because of that, I decided to put my desk in in my closet. <laughs> it actually fits pretty nicely. Uh, and I'm even going to get a different desk soon that'll fit even better. So I am very much looking for forward to that. Uh, but for now, I think it's kind of cool. It's nice and cozy. I've got... It's such a small space, but it's it's really cool. I like it. Um, but I mentioned last episode, I believe, it's been two, three days since I last made a recording, uh, that the first thing I wanted to do in this episode was to build some go-karts. So that's what we're doing right now. The past... Well, as I'm recording this, it is just after 11 p.m. <laughs> I have been moving all day today uh, and all day yesterday. It's been it's been a chore. <laughs> it's been fun, but it's been a chore. I don't know anyone that absolutely loves moving. <laughs> it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world. But you gotta do it and we did it, and we're done now, and it feels so good. We have, like, oh, dang it. Uh, we have, like, two or three boxes left. It's going to take, like, one trip to get it all back. But besides that, we are done, and my goodness, does it feel good. I'm slowly getting my room all set up and even my closet now, which I'm going to make into my studio, which I think sounds really cool that I can say I have a studio I'm going to get a new desk. I'm going to get a desk lamp, which is something I've never had because my desk is so small. There's not even room for it. Oh, man. Good good things are yet to come. It's going to be like three times the size of my current desk. At least that's my... Those are my hopes and dreams, at least. Whether that actually happens, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go to Ikea tomorrow, though, to see if that's even possible. Which I really, really hope it is. I hope I can find something that, as soon as I see it, it just screams to me, yes, Dr. D-Dub, buy me, please. Um, as you can see, we're getting a little bit carried away here with our go-kart ride. And that is, well, it wasn't originally my plan, but it is now. Uh, we're going to, oh, dang it, there's a tree there, and I can't go back through this way. Um, we're probably just going to do one lap on this thing because you can already see how long it is and I'm making it longer right now. I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> uh, actually, we'll just go down one here, turn it and go around this tree. I think that'll look nice. And then we need to get back up to what? 16. Okay. So if I turn it here... I should be able to go up the hillside here. Uh, we're going to run right into that tree. That's okay. Um, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so this actually needs to go up one right here and then turn. And then we can go up this hill. There we go. All right, and I'd like to clear this at 14 because we have to go underneath this and actually let's just go straight under the station if we can which we can't um uh, okay so if we do that and turn it we run into a tree and if we do this it doesn't work um okay do we have options we have we do but they're not great options <laughs> we've got to run pretty much underneath all of this 
Oh, jeez. And I can't do that because go-karts are in my way. Um, If I do this, can I go down one here? I can. That might be our workaround, guys. Might be our workaround. If I can go up one here. Okay, there we go. This is this is going to work now. All right, so we're at 14, and we need to get up to 16. So we'll do that right here. Let's actually take it up to 17. Run it along the back for a little bit, and then drop it down. Oh my gosh, that is a cool-looking go-kart ride. And it's up in the mountains. Or if you can call this a mountain. I'm not sure. But I think that looks really cool. And that's actually not really where I wanted to build it. <laughs> I wanted to build it more this area. But hey, you know, things happen. And I think it came out great, regardless of where I placed it. All right, now, can we get our lines to this? <laughs> we can do an entrance and an exit. That should work just fine. And then, as I build this line, I'd like to address a comment I got on... I guess it would have been two episodes ago at this point. Um, someone asked me why I... Like, this line right here. It's ridiculously long. Someone asked me why I don't do, like, footpath leading, you know, like, halfway up the line and then just do a normal size line. Um, part of my reasoning for that is... I like to keep my guests on the main path. I, I use that term a lot. I say, you know, we'll have the main path here. We'll do this with the main path. Uh, my, my reasoning for that is to keep people, again, on the main path. Um, if they have to go all the way down, like a one, like a, a dead end, basically. They go all the way down to ride this one ride, and if they don't want to go on it, then they have to go all the way back to get back to the quote-unquote main path, which is where the rest of uh, the access to our rides are, um, if that makes any sense. So I like doing lines that lead to the quote-unquote main path. And we just got my favorite thing ever, a balloon stall. We're going to build that as soon as we get this opened which we are close to being able to do here. And I'm trying to connect this up. Okay, that's not where I thought I was. I guess we're gonna connect up not in the tree. Um, this is gonna have to go this direction. Okay, this is actually gonna look cooler than I anticipated it looking. <laughs> and it will connect up. No, it won't connect up there. Can I make it connect up there, though? I can, and then can this go down? Oh, how cool would that have been? Correct answer. Really cool. Uh, there's no way to get this one lower. Drats! <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so we'll still do this because I think it looks cool. Kind of got this whole area with just winding paths. I think it looks nice. Uh, and we'll grab our mechanic here. Where's he at? Pilgrim? Oh, he's already covering... Never mind, we're going to hire a new one for this because we are going to build another ride probably up in this area somewhere. I'm not sure where. It might end up just being its own private mechanic. Or the ride might end up having its own private mechanic. Sorry, it's been a long day. Long two days, actually. I am exhausted. Uh, We'll name this guy... Go-gurt? Go-kart? Go-gurt? I don't know. That's where my head's at right now. Um, and then we'll grab a new handy... No, actually, we don't need a new handyman. We have one that... I think I hired him off camera, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I think it's this dude right here, Handyman 5. He doesn't have much work cut out for him. So we're going to give him some work to do. Perfect. All right. That is it for our footpaths here. Uh, we need to make this fit in with the rest of our park by adding some benches. And I haven't done light posts in this park. I'll probably do that before next episode, if I can remember. <laughs> There's a good chance I won't. My brain is kind of all over the place right now with the move. There's just so much stuff. You should see my living room. Um, it's, it's a mess. I don't have a photo of it right now. 
Um, but, and it's really dark and I don't want to turn on the light because that'll wake my roommate up. Uh, but tomorrow I'll grab a photo of it and see if I can put it in the next episode just so you guys can see what I'm working with because it is absolutely nuts. Um, to continue with the theme, actually no, I was going to say, to continue with the theme of these kind of spiraling walkways, I wanted it to go kind of spiral and connect up right here. But I don't think that will work because land is in our way. And again, we cannot change that land. So we'll go around it. This is a very long line. People are going to be extremely impatient by the time they get to the front. But that's okay. Okay, go-karts one. We can only get seven cars, too. That is kind of unfortunate. Uh, there's nothing I can do to change that, I don't think. Yeah, we got a tree. Yeah, we're pinned down by trees here. There is nothing I can do to get more cars. That's okay, though. Uh, we will do one lap, because, my goodness, that is a long track. This is going to be incredibly exciting, though. At least, that's my, my hope. Um, the color scheme for this... What does... Oops, I accidentally right-clicked. That doesn't look bad, though. I kind of like that, actually. Um, we'll try this and see if that looks... Nope, green it is. That green looks really nice. And it fits, because it's in, it's in all these trees, which this is a more heavily forested area, or at least you can see more of the trees, because it takes up so much space. Support color looks great, if I do say most... Say most myself. Wow. If I do say so myself, again, sorry guys, I am, I'm just kind of out of it. All right, we'll do some reds, greens, browns, and I guess that yellow. We'll maybe do a couple, uh, we need a brown. We'll do another yellow, like the bright one. Uh, and then we need probably an orange. And then, how different does the burnt orange look? Not super different. And then, we'll go with... A tan? I think that's going to look nice. Can't really see it because the uh, cover on the station. But I think that looks nice and festive. Very Thanksgiving-y. Because, again, this is... Feast Fest, after all. Sorry, I blanked on the name of the park. <laughs> My brain is not functioning too hot right now. I've been up for entirely too long, doing entirely too much. <laughs> Alright, $5 for now. We'll probably be upping that after this goes through. Oh, does this guy not have the money? No, he can't. Or no, he doesn't. He can't afford it. I kind of want to watch this a little bit, just to see them go on this beautiful track. Oh, yeah. That's a cool... That's a really cool track. I like how that came out. I think that might be my best go-kart ride I've done in this entire series. I think that looks really nice. And the victory lap is going to be quite long. But luckily, the gentleman in the green car is absolutely booking it. So he'll make it back pretty quick. I am really happy with this. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. <laughs> okay, um, we don't have test results yet, and I think we will as soon as our Victor returns. Speaking of Victor, if I can grab this guy, which I can't, never mind. I was gonna name him Victor, but you know what? Yeah, he's not going to get named Victor after all. Okay, what is it? Oh my goodness, look at that. 579. That is amazing. We're going to charge 580. Because people will still ride it. Yeah, they will. Look at you. Let me take your money. Okay, now to my, my favorite stall of them all. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? A balloon stall. We'll add one of these up front. And then... We'll add a few more. Man, why are these vandals just trashing my park? It is not cool, and I do not appreciate it. 
Also, that is disgusting. I need a handyman to do his job or me to do my job and assign them properly, which I clearly didn't. <laughs> I'll fix that off camera. That looks disgusting. Okay, back to our balloon stalls, which we're going to make. I think this... Oh, yeah, that's really nice on a balloon. I like that color. Yeah, let's do a buck 30 because we're greedy. But we're still thankful that they're buying our balloons. Or at least I hope they buy our balloons. Uh, let's do another one up here as they exit. Actually, that's actually... Actually, that's actually... Oh, my goodness. That's a, not the greatest spot for that, in hindsight, since it's not a main path and only those exiting Greater Wishbone are really going to be passing it. But that is beside the point. It's still pretty sweet. We should probably open it, though. And then let's do... Do we do one more? I think we do one more. I also think we need to add another restroom and probably an info kiosk somewhere in this area. But like I said, we're going to do somewhat of a... I don't know what you'd call it. A boardwalk? Riverwalk? Something. Actually, we'll save this balloon stall for when we do that. It's going to go... I wanted it to do... Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it right now. We might as well add it while I'm looking at it and thinking of it. Okay, so I want this to run kind of on the water here. And this is where all of our stalls are going to be going. Actually, can I get... No, don't drown, please. If I can go up here... No, there's a tree in my way. Okay, if I can go up here... There we go. And then, I'm not sure where this is going to end up going. So we're going to leave it there for now. And then, we will add our shops and stalls over here as well. To kind of make another, another food court. Or... I don't know if it's just food... Clearly not just food, unless you eat balloons. I don't know anyone that eats latex, but, you know, to each their own. <laughs> Who am I to judge? All right, and then I think we're doing the same color umbrellas as well. There we go. All that is good. Info kiosk open. We should probably add some more restrooms throughout the park as well. We're not going to do that quite yet, but we'll get there. We will get there. Do not worry. All right, we'll do a restroom there right in the middle. And again, we are letting them go for free. We are not charging them to relieve themselves. Because this is a feast fest, after all. And we are thankful. And we are being generous and letting them use the facilities for free. Okay. Oh, and I um, totally forgot. Let's do some fantabulous fries. Some drink stalls. What did we do? Decadent. We'll do delicious drinks. Um, what did we name our last one? Beautiful bathrooms. Um, bodacious bathrooms. <laughs> I love that word. Ooh, we're going to have to name our balloons as well. We'll probably do that next episode because my, my brain is is uh, it's struggling. Um, and we'll name this one. I don't think we named our other info kiosk. We'll name this one Informative Info. <laughs> because even our information is informative. Yeah, who would have thunk it? All right, let's line this with benches just to kind of give... Give the look, and look at that. They immediately almost filled up. That's that's nuts. All right, we'll do a couple trash cans there, and then we'll hire staff off camera. You guys don't need to see that. I'll fix all this mess before next episode. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, putting up with my moderately delirious self. I hope it wasn't too bad. I know I had a couple brain farts, and I probably will continue to have those for a few days, because most of my days are going to be spent just putting stuff away and figuring out how I want to live. 
because that's a decision I get to make now, starting from starting from scratch with a new apartment. It's it's a beautiful thing. But okay, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, as always, take care.